What's up everyone, welcome back to Gear Table, where I should probably be talking about a certain stream that happened last week. But, you know, that's a whole the complicated video, not related completely to Gear Chronicle, and this is exclusively Gear Chronicle, so we'll only talk about Gear Chronicle. But just know, your boy is back confirmed. He is a trial deck. Your boy is a vault. He's part of a um, extra booster. More on that later. So today, we're actually knee deep into Astral Force product reveal time days, and we have had quite a few new cards to reveal for Gear Chronicle, but we'll talk about some of those miscellaneous ones another time. Today, I'm going to focus specifically on five little cards that are brave little kitty cats. So to start things off, we of course have to start with the starter, which is the exact same as every starter ever. Chrono Tiger, you ride it, you draw a card, the end. Of course, there is a new thing that's happening later on, but we'll talk about that in the stream reveal video because that's a new concept that's still very under development and we don't know quite what's going to do. Moving on. Next up, we got the grade one Chrono Tooth Tiger. Tigger. Um. Two skills. First of all, Vanguard at the beginning of your ride phase, you get to draw a card, so it's nice. And in addition, his second skill, if you discard from your hand during your turn, Cannon Blast 1, call him to an open rearguard circle at rest. Neat. On to grade 2. Starting off with our reels from today, we got three new cards. Well, four counting another generic thing that we're not talking about here because we're only talking about Gear Chronicle. But, um, so two skills. First, Vanguard. Begin your ride phase, you get to draw a card and then discard one card. So very similar to the grade one. And in addition on rear guard circle, once per turn while battling, you get discard one to give him a crit. It's probably my favorite one so far because he's very versatile. And once again, we'll get to that in a second. We're just going over cards first before I actually talk about review and speculation. And about to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, the big boy himself, Mr. Tiger, the Fang of the Chronos. So, his first skill is just what we all speculated. It's the exact same. Australia's Lost Legends. Um, discard card is equaling grade 3 or higher. Search your deck for grade 4. Superior ride it. End phase. Superior ride grade 3 from soul for at rest. Literally the exact same thing as the other Pseudo Strider. Kind of enforces what I was talking about with them being interchangeable. But going on to that is his second skill. If specifically Chrono Fang Rebellion, the grade 4 version, rise over him, you could discard one to give him a critical and a drive check. I don't like that skill. I mean, I do, but I don't, and I'll explain in a second. But finally, of course, we talk about Rebellion, so let's get into the big bad boy himself. Chrono Fang Rebellion. And his skill's basically what we talked about from the anime reveal. Um, on attack, he has three different skills. These are based on the number of cards that you have in hand, so the less cards you have, the better. He's basically taking away until he gets his best effect. So with five or less in hand, you get to retire two cards. Uh, two cards in the front row. With three or less, three cards in your front row get plus ten. And with his final skill at one or less... You flip down all your cards, not counter blast, so it's very similar to how the Feather Palace works for Angel Feathers. And until the rest of the turn, all your opponent's guardians get minus five. So that's all the cards. Let's go back to me and I'll tell you, start talking about them. All right, so let's kind of go over the cards and speculate a little bit. Um, not talking about the starter as a starter. The Grade 1 and Grade 2 are very similar function-wise, that beginning of turn on Vanguard they have a draw effect, and on Rearguard they also have a second ability. Uh, that draw effect is very nice, very nice, very nice. Essentially you're looking at two draws per turn on the, your first two turns, as you go, well three turns really. As you go uh, 0 to 1, draw a card off your starter, draw a card for turn, so that's two cards right there. Um, 1 to 2, draw a card for turn, draw a card off the tiger, there's two cards right there, and turn three, you also, once again, go one to two, I mean two, three, draw for turn, right off the tiger, draw off the tiger, and then draw a card. So that's 
double drawing for your first few turns, which is pretty cool defensively to help you gauge those. Um, and I guess get resources because I'm assuming it's going to be a very early rush deck. Since your whole thing is you want to be brave and have no cards in hand to actually equal things. That said, going on to the secondary abilities, um, the great one essentially says when I'm discarding, I get, get to get called to an open circle. Very good, it's just like the great two we talked about a couple episodes ago that calls out rest. This is the exact same thing. Um, that said, we're still looking at cards that call out rest during the main phase and during the ride phase. And Gear Chronicle currently has no way of restanding units. So it fills board, it gives you resource back for next turn, but it's kind of dead that turn, if that makes sense. So we'll have to wait and see for some more reveals to see how that works, but it does at least fill your field and refund your card back that you had to discard for that effect. So this is nice. Um, Mr. Two, Mr. Crazy Boy. I like it. This is honestly my favorite card of the bunch because so far, um, while the great one's nice, like it's, once again, it's a discard for free units. Same thing as the um, Steam Girl that we talked about last week. Uh, that's really it. It just gives you a unit. Neat. Kind of goes in the same thing of use it for Fang, or you could use it for Memene or Stride Cost and get a plus off that way, but that's pretty much all it does. As for grade two, though, uh, two things. First of all, it's Vanguard skill. That's great for any deck because suddenly you have that burst draw. Um, it's just like the new wave of perfect cards that when you ride it, you draw a card and drop a card. It's basically a filter. Now you do that on grade two, which is really cool. And like this really useful skill, you see it used somewhat decently. Like a lot of people run a 16, not 16, 12 crit build now that just says, let's go ahead and use those perfect guards to get a free um, two card mill on the first turn. So it's good that we have a grade two that does that first of all, great on ride skill. Um, second of all, him getting a crit for a discard. Uh, once again, the discard's basically your engine. I'm just gonna, Leave it at that for now, so I want to keep on repeating myself. But um, getting a crit in a force deck is cool, especially when a force deck traditionally spams out those force markers. So uh, probably like by turn two, you're gonna have three force markers on board. You go like one to Vanguard, two to Rearguard, or whatever. Put those two on your Chrono Tiger Grade Two, and suddenly you say discard one, swing thirty double crit. Really helps you tempo out a little bit. Especially if you're running Force 1, which you should be now. And yeah, just really good pressuring rear guard. I love it. Splashing anything. Uh, Fang. So it's good specifically for Rebellion. It was designed specifically for Rebellion, which is great. Good for it. You get your. Just eventually refund your discard for that triple drive. But the fact that it's exclusive to this one single stride makes it absolutely useless in a non fang deck. I don't like that. I was gushing this whole time about um, how they are basically interchangeable, how you could like ride in Legend, have Fang and Soul, or vice versa, and basically be able to alternate between these two grade threes and use their on ride skills every time you ride a grade four for them. You can still do that technically, but since Fang is exclusive to Rebellion, that means you can't get an extra drive crit off of your Lost Le off of your, why well, I say Lost Legend, you can ride Lost Legend and do it. Um, yeah, like you can't get off your Mystery Flare, or if you still use Idealize, it just basically nudes your old grade fours and they're only usable by Lost Legend at this point. Kind of, I'll go more into it on my video, of course, but really hoping this isn't the case for my boy Chrono Jets. Because I'm going to be so sad if he's not interchangeable with the other two. But um, it's a good effect, though. Like, gets you another copy of Lost Legend, and this one works exclusively for one card. So that's good, I guess. Good for him. Crit 10 drive check. It's still useful. It still makes your um, Rebellion turns really good. And speaking of Rebellion, there's not really much to say that we haven't said already, but um, Retire 2 for free is nice. It should be a rewind effect since your Chronicle's whole 
um, restricting is that it puts cards back in deck. But, I mean, control's control. One bad thing is, like, the very few cards lay like Promise Star that have that protection. If people still play them, that's bad against that shrug. Uh, plus 10 is very effective. It's kind of like a mini Mystery Flare. While Mystery Flare is able to hit your whole board, um, that is on play skill, so you have to have board set up beforehand. This one, you can have board set up afterwards because it's on attack, which is always nice. And I'll just touch on it in a second. And, of course, the minus five shield is really cute. Like, a perfect guard is still going to shut you down. Oh, well. But anything beyond that, like, um, grade two's guard for nothing. Grade one's guard for five. Grade zero's guard for, what, 10 to 15, I guess. So it's still kind of good. But, like, the fact is that they're playing a lot more cards now. Probably one of the best things about this guard restrict effects, guard lowering effects, is that Gear Chronicle does traditionally have a little bit of guard restrict. Not too, too much of standard right now, but they do have two current units and one on the way in, which we'll talk about in another video when we get to the miscellaneous stuff. So, um, let's go over them real quick to give you guys a quick reminder. First up is your boy Nabu. He is a grade two that lets you bind a card from your drop zone in order to say that your opponent can only guard three zeros. And then he refunds himself by going back in soul and drawing a card. Um, the buying card doesn't really matter for now until you can hybrid the decks, which we'll figure out later. But everything else about this card is great. The fact that he has guard restricts, um, the fact that he refunds himself back by going and soul and drawing a card. And that drawing a card is actually going to be a lot more useful now with the whole Brave Fang's, Brave Fave style. Brave Fang. That's what you mean. Brave Fang. So, yeah, he helps out with the Brave Fang a lot, especially after Triple Drive. Keep in mind for that. And another one that hasn't been used quite as much is Steam Scar Kalein. Um, Kalein is a grade 1 unit that, after he, when he boosts, you can still last 1. And then for that turn, your opponent, number 1, cannot intercept. And number 2, Hat can only guard up to 3 Guardians. Then afterwards, he binds himself because they bind. But, um, in short... This is going to decrease their guard a lot because they're already losing out on their intercept. They're already losing out on 5k shield for everything. But now they can only use five, they can only use only three cards to guard at all. Once again, PG shut it down, but whatever. PG or GG is like the game. Um, but yeah, they get these two, and we are getting a battle door in the future that kind of helps out. I'll go over that eventually, but that is that. Um, aside from that, all I'm really going to say is Fang is great at one thing. And by Fang, I mean the grade 4 Bang, which is Rebellion. So, you know how all those old strides, like, me scooting over? How all those lost strides? <laughs> um, Mystery Flare and Idealize are both on play skills that activate, like, check your bind zone when you place them and do some cool things regardless. Uh, Rebellion is on attack. So, this means, number one, you can just go ahead, drop the field after you play him. If you had, like, any on-ride draw effects, like Lost Legend, that, um, you want to fill up for any reason. Because, remember, you are braving and you want to have less cards in hand, the better. And, number two, on top of that, because he is on-ride, because you're able to drop hand every time before, I mean, on attack, not on-ride, then suddenly you're able to just sit on him. Like, you could hard ride this boy after getting a couple force markers down and just sit there like, okay, I'm going to be defensive every turn out of 50k body. Uh, I'll be able to drop my hand to guard because I don't care because I just get advantage by having no cards in hand. And I can just freely just field everything and go wild. So that's why I think makes him, like, the better stride of the three right now. Simply because he just activates more consistently and can sit on him. But comments below, what do you guys think is better um, on ride ability like Mystery Flare where you get to go and have an extra turn and do some cool stuff? Or just big beefy boy that you can use every single turn? So that is my real quick thoughts on Fang and Co. Fang Family. Brave Chronicle. Hashtag Brave Chronicle in comments below. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you like new Fang? Do you think that you should get the bind mechanic like the old Gear Chronicle stuff? And... Speculation, as always, let me know down below. Give 
thumbs up the video that actually rhymed. Yeah, keep that. <laughs> and yeah, um, next video we should be looking at some miscellaneous cards. And so working on that deck update for you. It's just reveal season. And we might talk about some other things like body fight. I don't know why I have to whisper that. But yeah, Buddy Fight actually got the Rune Gear Chronicle, which just came out. So I might talk about that and kind of compare them because they're both Wish Real games that go completely different directions. But that is all for now. So like the video, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you don't know, chat to all the other gear players. I know I'm never going to be as popular as another, any other YouTubers. Like, freaking um, W Slasher or Card Fight Insider. They're the other bigger players. I'm not comparing to them. Shout out to them, though. So, it's been another episode of Gear Chronicle, Gear Corner. Until next time.